Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Evil Genius 2. We're starting our third run of the game. I'm a bit loud. Pardon my dust. Recently, from when I'm recording this, the expansion has come out for Evil Genius 2, which was free for season pass holders or something. Anyway, we're gonna... Usually I leave it up to you guys to vote on who our Evil Genius will be, but I wanted to check out the newcomer to the evil genius scene. So we're going to create a new game here and get started with Polar. <laughs> I relate to all of these reactions, especially doing the show. So I haven't seen much of her other than one of my fellow streamers named The Exploder who has messed around on this on my Discord. Otherwise, I haven't seen what's going on here. So, order minions, prioritize jobs, and pullers vicinity. Oh, that's helpful. So that's like old school evil genius. Overclocks a number of minions within the AOE, improving performance, and pullers influence on the layer causes her minions to lose morale and smarts more. Yeah, so she's basically using classic rules with her whole situation. Oh, words. When she was a girl, pillars most chair. Oh God. Ugh. Too much spit. When she was a girl, Pilar Pilar's most cherished times were in the winter, when the bond- wait. Okay, so they did make that on purpose. When the pond by her house froze over so she could skate on it. The pollution escalated. The earth warmed. The pond stopped freezing. And Pillar, now Polar, resolved to undo the damage to the environment and bring winter back. Polar first mastered the science of cryonics. Her breakthroughs in freezing tech were eagerly financed by a consortium of billionaires. But when she realized they just wanted to freeze themselves to ride out the in incipient, incipient climate apocalypse, she shattered them and went her own way. Polar regards herself apart from evil other evil geniuses. While they wish to conquer or destroy the world, she wishes to save it. It's humanity where she draws the line. The way she sees it, humanity broke the earth, so humanity must buy it. And she's quite happy to help humanity find its checkbook. I like her! Alright, Polar, let's do this. Um, and then they added a new island here. Icicle Point. Icicle Point Casino is the unlikely home of the Warm Welcome. Situated in the frozen north, this icy retreat makes for a perfect location to get away from the stress and surveillance of the modern world. A truly unique experience that will really warm the heart. Once you install heating, that is. Keen explorers will find themselves well and truly at home at Icicle Point. A series of hidden cave networks run through the island, allowing adventurous guests to make their way around unseen. Oh god, that sounds like it's going to be difficult to defend. Cold, very cold. Multi-storied helipad, cave network, beautiful casino. Uh, looks like some pretty decent threats on the threat level. Alright, this is pretty rad. I almost said pretty cool, but I'm not gonna dip into the puns yet. Oh god, Patriot and Hammer are the ones who are overrepresented? This is gonna be tricky. Oh well, screw it. I am, I, I am a professional here at the, the Pyro Falcon. Alright, we're doing hard difficulty because... For the love of God, I, I know this game well. Alright, let's roll. So, as with the previous runs, we're going to be doing half-hour episodes, and I am going to be chasing a specific achievement in this run, the achievement to get every single henchman in the game, which also means we're going to have to kill most of them. So it goes. You can't get an achievement without cracking a few eggs, omelets? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna shut up over the cutscene. I love her already. 
Use Wait, did I set to do the to tutorial? Oh god, okay, hold on. Now Sorry about that. Uh, tilt? The oh, there we go. Up. Who do you think you are, giving me instructions like that? I'm actually okay with having the tutorial because we get some additional voice lines as a result. I thought I set to skip it, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. I I'm here to help by telling you exactly what to do next in a friendly and helpful manner. This scepter I'm holding is not just for looks or to help me walk, buddy. You're gonna have this cracked upside your jaw if you keep that shit up. But you are here to do everything I say. Correct. Step one. Tell us what you want, and the minions will do it. We're eager to please. Uh, and also, e eager to live. <laughs> Please stop looking at me like that. Oh my god. Will be much more impressive yeah, 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 shut up. So, I'm seeing a new button here. Allow minions to automatically rebuild any standard items in the lair that are destroyed or stolen. I like that. That's gonna really save me time eventually. Alright, tutorial. Yes, I know, I know. Needs. Just tell me where you want Let's it, tutorial guy. In some aspects, maybe the tutorial isn't bad, because in both of the other runs, I forgot to build mess halls and whatever the smarts regeneration room is immediately. So, maybe this isn't so bad, at least in order to remind me how to play the game. It has been like six months. As I'm building my power room, I want to remind everyone, just in case you haven't seen my stuff before, I never plan ahead on where I'm putting items or anything like that, because I personally don't like min-maxing sure or over- Shut up! I'm working on it. No? Me, me neither. Great. So, uh, if you haven't seen me before, don't have a go at me, because I never plan ahead and I intentionally do weird things, not necessarily for the vines, so to speak, but, uh, just because it amuses me, so... But I do care about aesthetics, so everything must be spaced properly, because I am a selective lunatic. I wonder if the tutorial was forced on me because of this. Having the- oh, there is an aircon unit now, too. Decreases temperature in a small area. Okay, so I have to worry about too hot of areas in some places. And it's too hot here, I guess. Okay, uh, what- so wait, what am I doing? Where- wait, where- I just need four units, uh, four things, okay. So, let's put one here... Put- Wait, does it have to be in the power room? I guess so. Um... Okay. I guess let's heat up the corners then? So that's implying, yeah, okay, so I do have to have space heaters everywhere, which I kind of figured I'd have to. Why can't I, why? Why? Are you just not letting me build freely yet, game? That's fine, I, I can wait. I'm an evil genius, I have patience. Main objective. There aren't very many songs that really get to me in video games anymore, but this one does. The main theme and that sting of Evil Genius, oh, Chef's Kiss. Probably helps that Evil Genius on that particular song has helped make my career here on YouTube. But anyway, with so much hot air and icy stairs flying around, it's only a matter of time before the temperature changes in your lair. What? Install some- oh, I did that already. I forget that- Whenever there's that pop-up, it shows you the description of what you've already done, which is very strange. Um, alright, whatever. I'll take my reward. Now you're gonna teach me how to control my genius. Yup, 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 I've- yup, got it, tutorial guy. Select a suggested region, or any other region if you know what you are doing, and scout it to establish a criminal network. So- more tutorials need the phrase, or do whatever you want if you know what you're doing. If memory serves and if they haven't changed anything, Africa's the best place for money. 
So I'm gonna set up an Eastern at Saber here. Especially because once built, you can use our criminal network to run schemes in this region. Especially because if you've seen my other runs, we I Wrecking Bola is the most toothless super agent in this game. She sucks, and she's very easy to defend against. So when you're starting out, start in Africa for safety. New optional objective. I'm all packed, boss. Send me into the world, and I'll come back with plenty of gold. Come back? You think you are coming back? <laughs> no. I am not having you come back here, tracking justice all over the place like mad. They will follow you right to my door, and then where would we be? I love her voice. It's very sing-songy. Eh? Take a little gold for yourself, then send the rest back here. Use your share to live a quiet life. Or else. Aww. Minions will travel to the world and run any scheme you select. You will receive some oh. of gold as they progress. A prison will make for the perfect place to hold your enemies before questioning them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw that there's a don't ask again on the pop-up that allows you to, uh, or the asking for confirmation when you run a scheme. Good quality of life change there. That's one of the more interesting parts about not playing games more than once every six months or so, that These holding cells after the, hold shut up, reach. good God. If you don't have any free cells, your minions can't capture people. You're so noisy, Once tutorial this guy. Chair is built, we can use it to make prisoners tell us their secrets. As I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, asshole. I'm gonna murder him. What? Wait, where's a minion? I need to murder a minion. Hold on a minute. Can I? Damn it! I'll have to finish my groom build. Um. Yeah, it's okay. That should be good enough. I'm using more doors than I usually use, too. Alright. Alright, come here, any minion who's back sassing me. You! Oh, I'm not allowed to murder anybody yet. Your time is coming, minions. What the hell was I saying? Oh, just not playing the game for six months means I don't know all of the little tiny quality of life changes they've made. So... While it's not exactly playing a new game, it is a surprise to see some of the changes they have done. I am already running into my old habits, though, that I am building too hard, too fast, and it is very expensive. But that's fine. I know what I'm doing, so this should, this should be okay. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine. Having only 10 workers in my base is hurting me a little bit inside. And having a layer capacity of 21 is not much better. As soon as we have a little bit of cash established, I'm going to build one of my usual... ...barracks. Actually, I think I can do it now. We're gonna just make this massive locker room. and see how much this is gonna run me. Alright, that's not bad. An entire row of locker rooms will get me 30 minions at the cost of 25 grand. I'm okay with that. Since we're still in tutorial land, I mean, there's not the same exploit like in Evil Genius 1, where you can just milk the tutorial to get a billion people, or a billion dollars, but you can still kind of manipulate the system a little bit in order to kind of establish yourself when there are no the threats. Of the universe for you, boss. What do you want me to research? Interesting word. Research implies you are searching for something a second time. You better not be charging me for the same work twice. Your new scientist Still funny. to believe that we can use a training room to teach our slack jawed minions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll teach him once I get a little bit more cash, tutorial guy. And you can find out for sure. 
I mean, if nothing else, at least during the tutorial land, we may as well get the vault established and our personnel established. And then we should be good to go to just blitz through the tutorial. Mainly because I am a big believer in spend a little bit more time now to save a lot of time later. And that's what we're doing. Yeah, this is already looking better. Another couple rows of lockers, and now our maximum capacity is 81. That is a lot better to see. So we'll continue expanding that a little bit, but we may as well get on with the main story. I need a training room. Uh, oh, there's the casino. Uh, let's see, where would the, okay. I like segmenting, that's the wrong word. Um, segregating my minions training rooms i like putting the military one on the top floor or rather this floor the the main floor but with the casino right there that's gonna be kind of awkward um and this first one isn't gonna be the first training room can't really be segregated anyway because you don't have that much room or money to work with so, I suppose, for now, I'll put the training room over here. That way it's also kind of close to the break room, in case anyone needs to recharge their batteries. So, let's... No, that's fine. <laughs> Once again, my aesthetics were going to be the death of me. I didn't finish my thought, but the main reason I was kind of calculating where I was putting that training room was whether to add a door or not. I don't think the valet or the science, the, the science or the social minions, I don't think they draw heat. Maybe the science do, but, well, maybe, yeah, maybe this will be better for, I could put the science training room here, put the social training room here. With the correct training furniture maybe, training room, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Shut up, my god, you're so chatty. Um, to the minion training scientist. To yes, thank you. Ten scientists. scientists. Your workers will start to train automatically. They'll learn faster if another minion is able to teach them. I guess this is a good time to test let's out Polar's change. thing. So, let's bring her over here and then crunch time it. And overclock it. Oh, I can't do both. Use. Okay. That's fine. Shoot, this means I'm going to need to get myself a... Uh... Oh, it's not draining my stats yet. Tutorial enabled. Restoring stats. Got it. Just do the overclock for now. Uh, Here? Here? What? I just... I can't. Oh, I had to right click. Got it. Okay. Starting to relearn the controls. All right, what am I doing? Oh, a lab. You got it, Holmes. Figure the lab should be protected, so we'll build that a little bit away from everybody else. However, eh, I was gonna say no security, but I'm just I'm thinking too much ahead right now. Let's just focus on the tutorial, Pyro. Everything is fine. And 20 minutes later, we have now come to the guard introduction side story. Finally, getting some voice acting, I guess. Your minions are weak. It's pathetic. Jars go unopened. Arm, wrestler, arm wrestles are dull. Piggybacks end in disaster. Watching them try to subdue an agent is embarrassing. You need real guards. What we need is a little more muscle around here. You there, how much can you lift? About 70 kilos on a good day. 80 if I use both hands. Uh-huh. And how many bullet wounds can you take before you give up? One, maybe two. My point exactly. Get out there and find someone strong. Learn their secrets. I love her voice. I wonder what accent that is. Different types of minions to run special schemes. Let's yeah, 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 yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I, I, I got it. I got it. Shut up. I got it. Alright, let's do that one. Oh my god. Remind me to turn off the tutorial when we do our fourth run. 
I mean, I'm complaining, but I'm not really complaining. I actually like the tutorial. It's pretty damn thorough. It takes a while. I remember that was one of the downsides when I first got my hands on this game. A scheme has succeeded. I was glad I did it off camera because the whole tutorial took me like an hour. Which was unpleasant. Okay, we're gonna... Oops. To do this. Excellent. Okay, and then we're gonna dirt that up. All right, and then we're gonna dirt this up. Oh, God. All right, more stuff to build. Oh, yes, and the level one dirt diggy. I need the impact analyzer. You got it. Give me a hot second to get it built. And now doing our first interrogation to learn the ways of the guard. And how to hit people in the best possible way. Oh crap, I just saw my power. I'm gonna need to expand my power room again. Yeah, I definitely need the level one diggy. The level one diggy do. Is that what I called it in the previous runs? I need the level one diggy do to start getting some of these dirts. Because our power room looks very strange right now. Not just aesthetically, but just... I'm having to Tetris all of my power generators in there, and it's it's not really good right now. Another Pyro Pro tip, always overemphasize your guards. Usually by the time I get to end game, guards are representing half of my entire workforce. Mm, the downside of having all of these minions I forgot is that I do not have enough tables for everybody in the mess hall. I have to have way more tables than the game thinks I need in order to make sure everyone is nice and fed. I don't like feeding them, you know, because that's just sort of an unfortunate side effect of having these stinky, gross humans as my minions. We'll fix that eventually. I'm seeing another very minor change they've made here on the world stage that the regions that don't have an active mission not only are showing the little blinky do, which was a thing in the last QOL upgrade, but now they're blue and white rather than red. I don't know if that's gonna help visibility overall. Oh, and they're green when I zoom out. That's so strange, okay. The pulse seems to be occurring more often so that does seem a little easier to see where I have regions that have nothing going on good change well done your horde of guards will be the first line of defense and help to keep the riffraff out collect the completed side story to continue your world domination I mean, that's great, except for the fact that I have no power again. But sure, let's collect the reward. At least then I'll have some money to pay for some more power. Now this is more like it. Tell me, what do you bench press? The biggest one! Right. Okay. Not quite what I expected. How many bullet wounds would it take to kill you? The biggest one! Are you okay? Wait. I do not want to know. You're hired. <laughs> Thank One you, Polar. Down, two to go. Select a new minion side story from the objective screen. Yeah, I'll do that in just a hot minute, buddy. I think what I need to do right now is just wait until I've got the level one diggy do, because if I don't do that, if I just keep trying to expand, then I'm gonna run into problems sooner than later. Oh god, I'm 29 power down right now? Alright, well, my old strategy that worked really well is when you- Shit, what's- Z? What did I hotkey that? Q? Q, okay. By turning off the power of the machines that are not actively working toward your research, you will save a ton of power. The whiteboards don't consume very much, as you saw possibly down here, but the impact analyzers definitely will. Yeah, those are 10 each. So it takes a little bit of micromanaging, but it certainly saves you money in the short term. Although eventually our goal, of course, will be that we get so much money, it won't matter and we can 
have everything running 24-7, but we are not there yet. This is definitely not Endgame. This is very much the opposite of Endgame. Still in tutorial land. Yeah, this is what I need to do. We're just going to keep waiting until we've got the diggy Do level one. I mean, in, the research percentage is going up pretty rapidly, so it's not going to be that long of a wait. There we go. diggy Do level one is done. And I'm going to turn off these machines. We have work to do. Not really, Polar. Just hang on a hot minute. A uh, cold minute. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Yeah. All right. So of the two objectives, social minions have their place, but you want to stop shit from breaking. So let's get the techies going immediately. You. Are you responsible for the state of this room? Is that computer supposed to be giving off sparks? Yes, boss. Uh, that's how we know it's turned on. It looks broken to me. Do you not repair these things? We try, but it hurts. The sparks, you see. I cannot rule the world from a ramshackle lair with hunk of junk equipment. Kidnap a specialist. Interrogate them. Find out how to repair these things. I love her. So far, she's my favorite of the evil geniuses. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it, buddy. For now, we only need five technicians, but the tree looks different than it used to. I don't know what techies spin off into, and I'm pretty sure the last time I played, there were only four science types, not five. Although that still doesn't even count the robots, which is fine. They're probably under the special. Things always but have a tendency to explode, and this leads to fire. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh yeah, fire extinguishers would be helpful. I'm expanding out the barracks, and one thing I still don't know about the game is whether the specialist beds give more energy back, like this one. There's no visual indicator or number that shows it. So for now, because we just have a general, I mean a generic barracks room. Oh my god, shut the flip up, please. the interrogation device. For now, that's the interrogation chair. Oof, that might be a little too warm. Anyway... My point of that is, I wonder if it's to segregate your people better, because I know I did that. Not enough rockets to support your current menu. That's fine. Anyway, I remember toward the end game, I would have break rooms, for example, right next to the military minion training room, and it would have just the military bed, the military food, the military morale booster. Maybe it's just that way you can keep your minions kind of separated. I think it, early on it doesn't really matter, so we'll just stick with general beds. Anyway, that's all I've got time for. I've got a half hour, or I've, blah, this is a half hour episode. I'm apparently still settling into my recording session, but it's good to be back to Evil Genius 2. There will be more episodes, believe me, I'm not done with my session today. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow for another episode. We will take over the world and make it colder and more habitable for non-humans? Let's go with that. <laughs>